And Monday morning, the store got broken into. And they didn't take any money. They took freaking frontline products. What is this, a competitor retail chain trying to steal from us, trying to take away our, our cheese? I got eggs up in here. Edward Torres is an extremely well-respected detective in the NYPD division. He has solved many, many famous cases such as the missing glove from the warehouse and the missing person case from the warehouse. And I will be sitting with him and doing a very in-depth interview and we will talk about his exciting career. Hello, I'm Mike Centrone and this is Mike Check. The theme of today's show is crime. Crime, crime doesn't pay, and we're going to see a live interrogation because a crime had been committed across the street from our warehouse. I'm going to interview a famous detective named Eddie Torres, and we're going to see him in action as he interrogates a prime suspect of the crime. So join me. I am here with the John Jay graduate with a degree in forensic science and also a PhD in bologna sandwich preparation, Mr. Edward Torres. Edward, thank you for being on my show. How are you doing today? Fine. Good. You good? Okay. okay. Good. Good. Now, we all know there was a crime committed today. The store across the street from our warehouse was broken into. They didn't steal any money, they stole some products. So it could be an inside job. Eddie. Do you have any prime suspects in mind? Any names? Somebody you think who could have committed this crime? Yes. Danny. What? His name is what? His name is Danny. Louder! Danny! Motherfucker, his name is Danny. Danny, yeah. Now, we're going to see an interrogation. Eddie will interrogate this Danny character to see if he was the one, if he would crack under the pressure. Eddie, let's talk about your career real quick. You know you look a lot like Telly Savalas? Tell me about Kojak, and what happened to Kojak? Yeah, Kojak died in Coney Island. From what? From, from a movie. From a movie? Yeah. Tell me about your first case. What was the first case you ever worked on? Didn't you, didn't you find a, a safe somewhere? A safe in the garbage. You found a safe in the garbage? Yeah. And then what happened? I opened it, and <laughs> nothing was but penny. Nothing was in this safe but pennies. This is riveting. Now you've solved many murder, rape cases, but it was always that case with the safe that you're most known for, most famous for. How do you feel about that? Don't you feel famous? Yeah, very great. You feel great? I'm stuck with crime suspect, Danny. You can't wait to, to rip into Danny, can you? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're just going to go right now to the interrogation scene. You're going to get a live look in behind the scenes. Nobody's supposed to see this stuff, but we're going to get a sneak peek in there and see if this Danny suspect cracks under the pressure. Who were you last night? I'm about 11 o'clock. Home. Home. You're a fucking liar. No. You've got your own camera and, and a tape. I want to see the tape. I want to see the store. I want to see the tape. No, you're on the fucking camera. And Prove only it. that. Prove it. You got a new pair of pants from. Where you got the new pair of pants from? The store. Bullshit. You stole the front lines at the store and I bought you both in the pants. Gotcha, because I went to Macy's You're and bought the You're a fuck. You stole like a little bun line in the store. I want to see. Put them on the, you, 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 Show me the, the tape. Car and the tape. Show me the tape. No, it's in the camera. I didn't do anything. You have no proof. Oh, yeah. Hey, no. We're going to put you in jail so the guys can fuck you in the ass. <laughs> no. Um, and that's it. You're going you're, you're to get... I didn't do anything. 25 years to life. No. And all the guys gonna fuck you in the end. 25 ass. years to life for breaking a window? Breaking a window, saving all the front liners. So, thousands, thousands, thousands of front liners. You're and she's dead. I got you on tape. Bro, I wanna see the tape. You're dismissed. You go to jail now. Show me the footage. Now, and then uh, I feel sorry for you. I can put you a present too. Mr. Torres did have some unorthodox interrogation methods. A Christmas present. You, will you open in front of everybody? This is your Christmas present. Here you go. What open is the it? present. To get for you. That's for a lot of money. Hope you like it. 
You can wear it right now. <laughs> what is it? Put it on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Be ready. Open the box. box up. Open the box. Open it up. Hurry up. You can wear it. Put it on right now. <laughs> That's disgusting. Hey! <laughs> this is for Danny. Danny. <laughs> Danny's underwear. <laughs> As you saw there, it was a live interrogation. It was pretty intense and pretty freaking funny. But uh, that's Eddie Torres at, at, at his best. That's what he does. That's his job. And we respect him for it. And we're thankful for it. Superman isn't a real hero. People like Eddie Torres, men like Eddie Torres are real heroes. So just remember that a crime doesn't pay. And when you commit a crime, you're gonna meet Eddie Torres. And um, we move, I, pick, I move my hand and the bomb goes off. Yeah, you blow up too. And I blow up, I, I, blow, I blow you with me. You gonna blow me, what? Blow you up? Yeah. You move, I blow, I move. My hand and you both die. Give me a hug. No, come on. Come on. One hug. No, I'll give you no, no hug to you because. No, hug. Stop. Stop. One hug. I'll hug this. No, I don't want you to hug. Just one. I don't want you to hug. I don't want you to hug. Yes, you do. You're so fucking skinny. I don't want to hug you.